Hey guys, William Saunders here. So I've kind of got someone that asked me in regards about, you know, my trading station and how everything is pretty much set up. All right. So I wanted to kind of give you guys like a little insight on exactly what my charts look like, my platforms and kind of like some of the tools that I actually work with. Okay. So when we come out with the market wizard production and we start to go over the Sage Arts completion, then you guys will have access to a lot of the things that you actually see here. So don't worry about it too much, all right? So for starters, I like to have something that's automated. So this is what is our market dashboard panel. And this is for me to kind of get a glance of everything that's going on within a market, okay? So I can see upcoming press release that's coming out. And this is something that I use to kind of gauge, let's say, more about the overall direction of the market, and this is more about what the market is actually doing okay now down here is something that I can use that I can see about the daily range the previous range all of the good stats and everything like that so one useful way of actually putting this here is if you know kind of like what the market is already ranging you kind of got an idea of what the potential would be so this is something that's automated even though I know I'm in a process on how to actually do that so anything that I would say for me Anything that's ranging from about 0.20% or higher, that's opportunity. So that's the time frame essentially that I would like to look at and outweigh my opportunity there. While of course, I would lower my time frames to take the better entries. So that's one way that I kind of utilize this tool. Now keep in mind, I use a gatekeeping process that I can also plug these parameters into, but it's no advantage to me. While on the other hand, for other students that's coming in, this will give you guys a much better edge until you guys can actually understand how to master sage arts okay so one of my systems that I can actually go through when regards to market analysis and everything from here would be the hedge fund setup here and this is not let's say the full system but this is pretty much very complete to it so we're missing uh, one other factor from here so typically what I have is something that gives me alerts and tracks my trades when it comes to drawdowns okay I have a trading panel that I actually use and I have something where I it's easy for me to essentially you know work with across multiple time frames and everything that I can take a look at at a glance something that's automated okay now with this tool here this is something where I can take a look at retail trades within a market now this is actually done by live accounts through a feed that's actually going through my FX books all right so all of the live accounts that have open positions and everything like that this is one way that we could go through and actually pull in the feed so this is more of kind of like the data from a automated perspective where my actual charting is a little bit different so let me guys take you over to that platform all right so over on my actual trading platform guys this is pretty much what I use for the most part so it's just the Heikinashi candles and I can tell you I've tried pretty much all of them, magic candles, dino candles, I've tried Japanese candlesticks, I've tried Rico candles, and everything like that. And at the end of the day, Heikonachis is going to be the one that pretty much holds a very good secret with inside them that I've discovered over the years of actually using them. Okay, So basically, I just come in and I do my main analysis and I plot into all of my perimeters ranging from my opportunity in the market and then I would pretty much set up anything based on how my entries are lining up, okay? So we use some type of timing to take proper executions, all right? So usually once my analysis is pretty much done, I'll just go ahead and mark off the current bar or candle that I left off on. And that way it'll be much easier to come back and see kind of like how my analysis is actually working out. So now my other system here is basically an alert system. And this is something that I can use and the combination with what is known as timing so basically I have alerts based on the actual trend of the market I also have alerts based on the ranges within a market and I have alerts based on candle closes okay so the numbers that you guys are actually seeing is any candle bar that actually goes beyond 50 pips I want to be alerted on that all right and the reason being is because those candles are basically going to be overextended, which means it's going to be a part of a form of manipulation, essentially a violation, or is going to be setting what is known as a trap zone range. So you guys got to think of it pretty much like this. The market is either about to turn around or it's about to pretty much trap order. And in some cases, depending on the entry type, it's just overall a fake. All right, so this is pretty much for the most part a lot of my 
two platforms setups that I actually go through. So let me take you guys over to my gatekeeping process. Okay, so once we're in gatekeeping process, there are several tools that I actually use that I will be introducing to my market wizards students under that production, all right? So for starters, we do a custom portfolio because this is a different way of, of keeping tracking with your actual trading process in regards to the international level, okay? We also have a watch list here, and there is a specific way that we can actually utilize the watch list to prevent us from taking, let's say, bad trade ideas and only adding on positions to trade ideas that are actually already making money. I utilize something for timing, okay? We're also going to get more into the COT reports to take a look at the institutional trades, the hedge funds, and everything of that nature. But for the most part, you guys will be using the ATR projections, okay? So the ATR is going to be something that is very, very great for you guys. For you to kind of come in, set your actual rate, and then based on the volatility, that the data is populated and everything like that, that will give you guys a targeted level for profit and a reversal or stop point, okay? So this makes your trade ideas as a second opinion very valuable. And until you guys can really master Sage Arts to its full completion, this will give you guys actually a really great edge on your trading. Down to everything else, we were gonna get more into our margin levels. So we're gonna go over full margin mastery for you guys. I'm gonna break down how I get into selecting my assets set grid okay which is basically pretty much on a margin cost to the pit to the dollar down to the average daily range across 30 days all right and I also have various money management tools that are here just in case I, I need to use them but I prefer something that is actually a little bit more automated okay all right so I don't know about you guys but you definitely should have a trading plan I have something more of a trading projection overview so let me kind of show you guys what mine's look like Okay, so my trading projection overview is pretty much everything that I'm going to essentially be using when it comes to my trading, all right? Now, this is still not a part of my execution process, but this is kind of like the overview on in regards to how I'd be trading or managing a account, all right? So if we can take a look, I'll come in and I'll actually set like a balance for that. I would go through, set kind of like a monthly goal average that I'm looking for targeting. I would set the initial risk, which is also my exposure per trade. And then basically I have an absolute exposure. And that's pretty much going to be right around the total trades that I'll actually be trading. All right. Now my asset class is going to be a cross combination of any of these, depending on how large the account actually get. My trading cell is always going to be marked off. And I have pretty much my reference grid here, even though I know exactly what I'm going to be trading and how I'm going to be trading, okay? So I set a target profit style just as a reminder on here, all right? So risk prevention, guys, is pretty much, you know, how am I protecting the trading balance or trading account against me, okay? So things that I use is gatekeeping process, hedging, a recapping technique, and also leveling out margin. So anticipated loss is anything that would actually want to lose at any given point so if i gotta leave early or something like that or if i need to de-escalate a hedge then i'll walk away with just losing five percent on that region so i have two entry types overall best and actually take all and only difference is pretty much how timing actually works and essentially these are majority of the entries that i would actually like to trade so my projected timeline growth is mainly going from a day by day percentage area all right so I'm focused more about not the pips that I'm getting, but realistically speaking about how my average days are going, okay? And depending on that, I would adjust my exposure and risks along with the amount of trades that I'm willing to open all at once. And then that will line up with how much pip I actually need and everything coming from there, okay? So outside from that, I would go through a quarterly graph and everything of kind of how I'm expecting to essentially grow an account and build that account up, all right? So even with this account here, we're talking about a $2,500 account can touch essentially seven figures in three to nine months, but worst case scenario is that basically we end up with $88,000 in profit before 12 months is actually up. So to me, that's still a very good proposition of starting a count, let's say roughly 2,500 and then ending with that kind of balance, okay? So I've actually started to document a account process just like this. I'm actually one quarter pretty much behind dealing with everything within a hedge fund and the products and releases 
So that means for the next quarter, I'll pretty much end up catching up with everything balancing out right around the next quarter. And then I should be able to pick up with the third and fourth quarter. All right, so I hope you guys pretty much have an idea of how my trade station is actually set up and somewhat of a process of pretty much I go through, all right? So for you guys, I would definitely recommend that you guys would have a set of trading rules that you should follow so that you can create your own trading plan. All right, so I wish you guys much success and of course, happy trading.